My name is Kay Byfield, and this is your Art Speak Studio Moment from Art Speak Studio in Dallas, Texas, where we offer courses online and in the studio, mostly in watercolor. Looking at art, we can see that most artists walk a line between spontaneity and control. And this is true of every medium, but especially of watercolor. I've given this a great deal of thought myself. The more that an artwork deviates from what you see in nature, in terms of appearing like a photograph, the more it, it opens up the possibility for spontaneity on the part of the artist. Artworks that are very photographic will be less spontaneous because you must adhere strictly to how nature actually looks. When you deviate from that in terms of color and value and texture and space, and especially if you use line, then you have more freedom to be spontaneous and, and deal with the artwork in the moment. Maintaining control and following what nature gives you is a bit more comfortable than going off the reservation and doing your own thing. Maintaining control and following the laws of nature is a lot more comfortable and feels less risky than doing something out of our own heads. It's because you, in, you increase the likelihood that the painting will fail halfway through after you've invested a lot of time and energy if you are doing something spontaneous and in the moment. If instead you have a plan for action and all you have to do is replicate what's there, it's a lot less risky. That's not to say that there isn't skill involved in creating something that's photographically, representationally accurate, but it does require less of a feeling of being at sea than doing something spontaneous in the moment. To illustrate this, here are some artworks from award-winning artists. This award-winning painting from a recent American Watercolor Society show is extremely naturalistic. Once the artist composed the painting, all she had to do was follow what nature presented. This feels much less risky than going off the reservation and doing her own thing. It still shows a great deal of skill, that's why it won the award, but it is not nearly as risky as a more spontaneous presentation would be. Also an award-winning painting from a recent American Watercolor Society show is a landscape that shows the brush strokes and the application of the paint, but is probably quite close to the scene that was presented to the artist. This makes it somewhat less risky than something that the artist took more liberties with in terms of the elements and principles of design. Here's another landscape painting, but in this one, the artist flattened the scene and took more liberty with the colors and the shapes, mostly in leaving out shapes and information and creating something that was more um, abstract than the previous painting. In this painting, Radha Chatterjee has included bird shapes as well as other shapes that do not clearly reference anything in nature. The colors are arbitrary, contour lines help to define the forms of the birds, and arbitrary calligraphic lines cross over the shapes and seem to sit on the surface. All this pushes the painting into the realm of abstraction and seems very spontaneous and joyful. In this gestural portrait of an old man dressed as a Civil War soldier, the artist sketched directly on the paper and then applied the paint. In some places, those original lines are used to define forms as they are in the hat. And you can see the brush strokes, the, the splatters, and the paint application. The painting was done quickly. It was probably done live from life, and it is extremely spontaneous in the presentation, which gives it a lot of energy and 
and a feeling of exploring something. The colors in this painting are arbitrary and muted with flattened shapes, with the exception of the woman's head and neck. It's unclear where the woman is or even when this is. The textures, shapes, colors, and flattened space all make this very abstract, and it feels quite spontaneous and intriguing. Deviating this much from nature would feel really risky to me. Most students tell me that they aspire to paint loose paintings, but painting loosely and deviating from nature is a very risky thing to do. And most painters without a lot of experience cannot give themselves the, the permission to take those kinds of risks because the probability of failure is really quite high. And most of us like to try to stay safe and in control. However, if you can do it, when you do succeed, you get something interesting, different, and quite exciting and, and um, energetic feeling. And so that's why often those are the paintings that win the awards. In order to be spontaneous like that, you need to have a repertoire of skills that you can be assured will be there to rescue you if you get into trouble and will allow you to make changes without the painting beginning to look overworked. I hope you've enjoyed this discussion of control versus spontaneity and that you've found your own level of where to walk that line. I also hope you'll join us in future Art Speak Studio videos. And in the meantime, I wish you happy painting.